What is up everybody, Wetlighting HUD here with another video and as you can see, we have the brand new defense that was released in the last update, which is the Air Sweeper. And today we will be unlocking and upgrading this brand new defense with the 8 million gold we have farmed up and the almost 12,000 gems that have been so generously provided to us by my boys over at Cash for Apps. And let me give them a little shout out before we start. If you guys want your own free gems, you guys want to pick up some gems so you can unlock shit early like I'm doing in this video, uh, there's a link in the description. Just click that link and follow the directions that are on screen now and you can go get yourself some fast, easy, and free gems. Now with that said, let's get to the video. Okay, so we have modified the base just a little bit so we can watch all of our gold go as we buy and upgrade this thing. So let's start it off and let us purchase it. Bam! We got the Air Sweeper level 1 building. And I do like the new feature where you can uh, rotate and see the range of it. Actually, this thing has got a really big range on it. So uh, that's a nice little feature. So 23 hours. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's gem that up. Awesome. Okay, we got an Air Sweeper level 1 on our base. This is how it looks at level 1. Uh, pretty basic. It's got uh, pushing strength of 1.6 tiles and 750 hit points. So uh, that's obviously not that's not good enough for our base, guys. We're white lighting HUD, and we need some good shit going on in our base. So let's upgrade this again. Uh, 750,000 to upgrade to level 2, and that is going to take three days again. And <laughs> nobody got time for that? Going to be upgrading that again to level 2, and uh, awesome. Level 2 sweeper looks a little bit better. It's got the silver rings on the outside. Uh, it pushes 2.0 tiles, and it does have 800 hit points, so uh, not bad. Again, how about we have it angled? No, how about we have it angled to the left? Yeah, so we can actually see the side feature on it. Awesome. So let's go ahead again. 1,250,000 to upgrade to level 3, so we'll be doing that. And uh, that is going to cost 5 days. Not cost 5 days, but it's going it's to you know, be upgrading for 5 days. And again, we do not have time because we need some uh, some upgrades up in our base, man. We can't have a newbie level 1 defense just chilling in our base, all right? It doesn't work like that in the White Lighting Village. So this is going to be a level 3 sweeper. Uh, it looks a little bit more fortified. Got a little bit more metal bars on the side of the, of the, of the sweeper here. And as you can see, it's got 2.4 tile range, 850 hit points. Let's go again. 2.4 million this time. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to upgrade it again after this, sadly. Uh, so that's going to be done. And uh, level 3, we got a level 3 sweeper. This can cost 1,000 gems. That's a little bit more than usual. So, uh, bam, there it is. 1,000 gems down. Now we got a level 4 sweeper again. Yeah, okay, so it's 4.8 million to upgrade to the next level. So we'll not be able to get a level 5 and or 6. But we will definitely do that in a future episode when I can farm up some more gold and uh, upgrade this a little bit more. So uh, we got a level 4 sweeper, and that's pretty awesome. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's got a little bit of gold on the top of it. It looks quite fortified. Let's see the, uh, okay, 2.8 tile push and 900 hit points. So that's awesome. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. All right, so we got our brand new air sweeper defense in and as high level as we're going to get at this episode. So now all that's left is to make the troll base. And now, the moment of truth. All 
All right, guys, we got the air sweeper defense trolling base built. And uh, all I got to do now is go out and get some defensive replays. So if you guys want to see for tomorrow's video some defensive replays of this awesome base and see how it does, make sure to like the video and comment down telling me that you want to see this base. Uh, some replays, some defensive trolling replays up in Masters 3 uh, for tomorrow's video. Just like the video and comment down below telling me you want to see it. And speaking of the comments, let us get to today's comment question of the day. All right, so today's comment question of the day comes from Wade Belgrave Haynes. That was a tough one. All right, and the question is, how do you think the new Air Sweeper will affect Balloon New Users? Now, I picked this one because I am a huge Balloon User. If you guys were with me uh, during my Town Hall 9 days of this YouTube channel, you'll know that I am one of the founding fathers of Town Hall 9 Balloon Pushing. And uh, I held the Town Hall 9 Trophy Push record, uh, the world record, for a very long time. If you guys don't believe me, go check out my old videos. But uh, yeah, I actually was one of the founding fathers of Town Hall 9 Trophy Pushing with Balloonian along with Madak 1 and Tyrael, all right? That was back in the good old days, okay? So uh, so how I think this will affect Balloonian users. Honestly, it's, it's going to be quite an impact because with Balloonian... Uh, a lot of people think, I got a lot of comments saying, Oh, God, you know, with the uh, air sweeper, if you just attack the other side that it's pointing, it'll be okay. Well, like, the thing is, is that people are going to make the other side of the base really, really, really fortified against air attacks. So you're going to have to attack either a really, really hard and fortified side of the base or the air sweeper side. So what's going to have to happen is either you're going to have to train up an army with a lot of balloons, free spells, and rage spells, and only a little bit of minions, or you're going to have to attack the bottom side and hope to God you can get past the air sweeper and, and basically have a large enough balloon spread in order to get into the base and get past the air sweeper and destroy it. Or you can just bring on long lightning spells to take out the air sweeper. But honestly... Uh, for farming reasons, I don't think it's going to do a lot. Uh, farming with Balloonian is one of the most efficient ways you can ever farm up in Champions League for Town Hall 9 and 10. Uh, it is like one of the best ways to ever, ever to farm if you have the gems to boost because they take a while. It takes a while uh, to train. But for trophy pushing, Balloonian, Lava Loonian, that is going to be greatly affected because now people's bases are going to be v very strategically placed uh, or, or made in a way that the um, Air Sweeper. The way that it's pointing is not going to be super heavily defended, but the way that it's not pointing is going to be very heavily defended. So it's going to be very hard to attack the side where the air sweeper is not. So most likely you're going to either have to attack, you know, maybe a side of the base that's like parallel to the air sweeper's ranged, or you're going to have to attack the air sweeper head on. It's going to be a lot different. Uh, I have yet to go up and attack it, and I do use Balloonian, so if I do a champion uh, 4k push again, I will be using Balloonian a lot, and we will definitely see how it works against the new air sweeper but yeah that's my overall thoughts about how this uh trophy pushing composition will work and farming against balloonian uh against the new air sweeper so yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys want your comment question of the day answered make sure to throw it down in the comments to maybe get picked for next video uh also in the comments remember tell me if you guys want to see some defensive replays from this troll base for tomorrow's video and uh yeah guys that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one i love y'all peace the pretty girls in class still they never reply but never say never they never get caught on my mind i'm trying to get better and grind measure my effort and skill gets better in time fresher than ever and i am who i am no taking it back i'm alive and well